I know it's early, but I wanted to do something special for you today. Remember how I always tell you that the crock pot is my favorite recipe? Well, it's like before eight o'clock, I think, and I'm getting ready to head out for work, right? Well, I'm already at work, but most of you are still like, oh my gosh, you know, trying to get things together and get ready out the door, or some of you anyway. But these are things that you could do last night if you wanted to, and then just put it in the crock pot. And I'm gonna show you a really cool potato soup recipe with chicken and bacon in it. Isn't that sound delicious? <laughs> so I have my crock pot. Hey Peter, good morning, good to see you. I have my crock pot here and it's already heated. I got it up to high. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in there. Now, I know there's been some confusion about jicama and turnips and rutabaga. So I'm gonna do a little bit of education and tell you a little bit about each of them. The uh, jicama here is really a vegetable that's grown in the ground and it's really kind of watery. So if you wanna use this in cooking, you wanna make sure that it doesn't really soak, you, you wanna remember it doesn't really soak up a lot of the juice because it's already watery itself. So this one will stay a little bit more crispy in whatever you're making, okay? Now, the rutabaga and the turnip are really cool. The turnip is brown and it kind of looks like the jicama, except if you look at it, it's totally different. The jicama is much huger and you wanna get a really hard one, okay? You wanna get one that's not all slimy on the outside. You want it to look beautiful and white on the inside. Now, the rutabaga has this root kind of thing at the end and this one, it smells kind of like a root. And this is actually from the broccoli Brussels sprout family. And you um, want to make sure that you get them. It's not all waxy and slimy and stuff like that. You want to make sure they're firm and hard and they have a little yellow tint. And in a second, I'm going to show you what they look like all lined up so you can see what they look like inside. Okay. Now the turnip, the turnip is usually a, a kind of purplish color and you can get three or four of them in a bag. These are one of my favorites because these really soak up some really good juices and taste delicious in any stews and stuff that you're doing. All right, so we're gonna put those aside because I already have some cut up. Now, I'm sure, Amberly, that you guys all know what this is, right? This is one of my very favorite potato sub substitutes, okay? This one right here is a radish and you don't even have to peel these babies. The other ones I would recommend that you peel if you want to put them in a soup, but this one right here, don't do it because it soaks up everything and it looks just like a red potato. It's fantastic, okay? So, now yesterday, before I get to showing you what they look like on the inside, yesterday I made chicken wings. Remember that? Well, I had some left over and I pulled all the chicken off the bones. While I was sitting there having a conversation, I just went ahead and did that because I was preparing for my next meal. And if you guys get into the habit of doing that, you're gonna be super successful in keeping your weight off and being nice and healthy and feeling fantastic, like me. <laughs> Because I know that feeling fantastic feels better than crummy because I felt crummy for a really long time. All right, so I put my broth that I boiled my chicken wings in to get all the fat off, I put that in the refrigerator. Technically, I was gonna drain that off and throw it away, but man, it smelled so good. If you guys didn't watch yesterday, check that out. The, the fat just scoops right off of there. Look at that, nice and hard. You don't wanna be eating that. That's nastiness, right? It's all hard and ugh, icky. It's just making my stomach turn actually. But um, the broth was delicious smelling, so I couldn't just throw it down the drain. And I think what happens is a lot of us do that. We cook things and then we throw away the juice that they're cooked in. Guys, you're throwing away all the yummy goodness, the, the flavoring and stuff. I, all I did in this broth here that I cooked my chicken wings is, it in is I put uh, one of those hot chili peppers in there. Those ones that you get in the section where the spices are, they're dried. Let me show you. This right here, I put this baby in here and it made the broth like delicious. It smells so great. I also actually put um, some uh, garlic in there. It's kind of early in the morning for me. <laughs> I put some garlic in there. Yeah, radish greens. Radish greens are really good for you, Amberly. Keep eating those. So here's my broth with the rest of my, now it has a little bit of fat in there, but a little bit of fat's not gonna kill you. It's all the fat that we eat. It's, oh, wait a second. <laughs> I wanna show you what this looks like first. 
All right, just so you know, the turnip and the rutabaga, they are part of the broccoli and Brussels sprouts family, just like I told you. There's a big word for it, but I'm not gonna get into that. So if you guys can see that, can you see the different colors okay? I've got the jicama here, this is the rutabaga, this is the turnip, and these are the radishes, okay? I'm gonna cook these all together. What I'm gonna do is add that beautiful broth right on top in my crock pot. Like I said, I turned this up to high already. When you guys head to work, you're gonna turn this to low and just walk away and forget about it, okay? So I'm gonna put just not all of it in there. I'm gonna add my chicken and stir that up with my handy knife I have available. <laughs> and then guess what I'm gonna add? I'm gonna add some bacon. Now you wanna make sure that you get the turkey bacon that does not have sugar in it, okay? And how did I slice it up? You're gonna be like, oh my God, Vicky, that took me all day. It was really easy. I stuck it in the freezer and I just sliced off little bitty pieces like that and I put that in and put that in there just like that. So I meant to get green onions today when I was walking around the store, but gosh, it was like seven o'clock. I was thinking about a lot of other stuff. I'm gonna add some chili red peppers and I forgot my green onions. So, oh, garlic powder <laughs> with the pepper in it. I'm gonna add some of that. And then I'm gonna add my chili pepper here, my red pepper flakes, only a little bit because I'm not sure if my company today for lunch is likes it spicy like I do. And then that's it. I'm putting the lid on it. I'm turning this down to, well, let's see what time is it? Eight o'clock, they'll probably be here around noon. I'm gonna keep this on high, but if you go to work, make sure you turn it on low and I will tell you it's amazing. You're gonna walk in your house and you're gonna go, holy smokes, my house smells delicious. And all you're gonna wanna do is sit down and eat. And guess what? That's all you have to do is you have to get a bowl out. You gotta get yourself a nice big ladle and you're gonna scoop up some of this delicious potato chicken soup. So make sure that you do them some things ahead of time so you can be prepared and live healthy and live longer to 100 because 100 is the goal, but only if you're feeling good, right? And the only way you're gonna be able to feel good is if you eat stuff like this. My name's Vicki, I'm with Texas Last Diet. You need any help, give me a holler. We're here all day till five and we work every single day. Even on Monday when the sign says we're closed, I'm still here working. Have a great day, you guys. I'll talk with you later.